Hey, Pisces and Taurus, what's going on? Pisces, if you're dealing with the Taurus, this is going to be your love reading. Let's see if we can gather some energy from your person, okay? No one understands me but you. And then there's the drama. And I am better with my mind than my heart. Okay. So, Pisces, your Taurus out here feeling like you're the only one who understand them. And, yeah, we got our issues within this connection. But you know that I'm more of a mind over heart decision maker. Everything I do, I think about it. I don't feel it, right? So, yeah, that brings about the drama because, Pisces, you more emotional, right? You want to feel the love. You can't just tell me you love me. I want to feel it. So, like, you feel like I understand you, but can you understand me? So, we, you know, got our little arguments going back and back and forth that can honestly turn out to be a big issue if we can't fix it, right? But let's hop into it. Let's see what the tear is saying about this connection here. Right? That was just some energy pulled from your person. They feel like no one understands them but you. Yep, we got our drama and they better with their mind than their heart, right? So we have the world. We have the five of swords. We have the page of cups. We have the hierophant. We have the Page of Pentacles. And we have the Star. All right, so Pisces and Taurus, uh, I'm feeling like you all want to come together and, and be as one, right, with the world. Y'all want to be a whole. Y'all really want this to work out because y'all got compatibility, I'll say. There is compatibility here. I see the Taurus energy here. But y'all got y'all drama, y'all got y'all conflict, y'all got y'all disagreements. But ultimately, either one of you never cease to amaze each other. Y'all always surprise each other with the love that you do have, right? And it, this is a very committed type of thing, you know. Both of you, I feel like, have a real strong personality. Both of you may be wise beyond your years. And I do feel like both of you are kind of like you know stuck in your ways with that strong personality you know i'm right on what i feel and i'm right on what i think you know what i'm saying so together there has to be that balance so with the page of pentacles i feel like you all are working hard in this relationship through the drama y'all working hard and even though there's drama and disagreements this is still a solid partnership here and the star coming out is like you all need to really get in alignment with either yourselves and heal from whatever issues you may be having or get in alignment with each other and heal each other together here, you know, so y'all can shine. Because I feel like this is a like a power couple. I really feel like this is a strong connection. But everybody got their little kinks they got to work out. No relationship is perfect here. And what it seems like y'all having difficulty with is just, you know, the emotion. How to share and enjoy each other in a balanced way. Somebody is more emotional and somebody is more logical. Somebody thinks, 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 and they cannot feel a damn thing in their heart, right? And somebody feels, 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 and can't think a damn thing in their head, right? And there needs to be this balance. So we got the world. Y'all need to come together, heal each other, and, and make this complete so y'all can get over this little hurdle and move on to the next cycle of y'all life. Yeah, with the drama comes all the differences, all the arguments. We disagree on things that can be fixed, that can be worked on, right? We never cease to amaze each other here with the Page of Cups. You surprise me with loving gestures and I surprise you with them. You know, we both have a strong personality, both very wise people and both kind of stuck in our ways here. Taurus energy, right? And then we have this page of pentacles where, yeah, even though we argue and disagree, we still have a strong, solid bond here. 
we still offer each other that security, right? That that reassurance here. But if we could just come together and align with each other and pour into each other, understand each other, maybe we can heal each other. So I feel like this relationship needs a little bit of counseling, a little mentor, somebody to step in or if you two can figure out how to coexist with each other and how to get on balance with this mind over heart thing or this heart over mind thing, right? So let's see, what is the world here? What is this world card for Pisces and Taurus here? And we have the Empress, right? More Taurus energy. So this person definitely values you and you value them. It's just somebody's more controlling, maybe even both of you. And you all need to just relax. I feel like this is a strong connection and it's where it's supposed to be. You all have to relax and learn how to flow with each other right learn how to coexist with each other with those strong personalities here this is something that's valued and worth being valued here this is something that can be nurtured this is something that can be healed this is something that could be fixed here right this is something that you all could break through this is something that you can break through Right, so let's see what's going on with this five of swords here. And we have the seven of swords here. So it's like when you don't understand me, I feel devastated. I feel manipulated. I feel played. I feel like I can't get my point across and vice versa. So it's like y'all sharing the same energy here. Like with, with this drama, this mind over heart and this heart over mind stuff, it, it just feels horrible to both of you. Y'all don't want to treat each other that way. Y'all don't want to feel that way. Y'all don't want to say the things that y'all say to each other when y'all angry. Because some shit you just can't come back from. But it's like learn to trust each other more. It's like not... Like, I know y'all trust each other, but like, learn to trust your person with their thoughts. And your person can learn to trust you with their heart. You know what I'm saying? Or you know how what I'm trying to say. But that's that's what needs to happen. There needs to be uh, this level of trust. You uh, Somebody's feeling like, you know, I know you love me. I, I know what this connection is, but can I fully trust you with my heart? Right? Can I trust you to protect my emotions and blase, blase, skip? And the person is like, you know, can I trust you with my thoughts? Will you try to break down every thought that I have that I speak to you? Like, can you support my mentality? Because it's strong, right? There's wisdom here, right? So it's like when it's not in balance, it seems it's it's an issue. It's It's an issue here, right? So let's see what this page of cups, because it seems like you always are able to pull it back together and get back all lubby dubby and smoochies. Like, man, you you get on my nerves, but you know I fucking love you. Here, take these roses, or you know, here take these briefs or whatever. You know, I really feel like you all get each other little gifts just for no reason at all, just because I love you here. So it's like bring it into balance be fair go from within really figure it out really be clear about it and balance it out right because we don't want no divorces happen we don't want no breakups to happen right here right so it's like find the balance find the balance and learn how to trust each other with with what really um is dear to you right so we have this hermit card and it comes with the three of cups here you all do, y'all are more happy than sad or there's more happy times than the drama. You know, there's a lot of celebrations here. A lot of commitment here. I feel like both of you are family oriented, very responsible here. And, and you know, y'all just love it. Um, family, right? This is what it's all for, right? And I feel like at the end of the day, it's okay here. It's okay here. It's safe here, right? That's just what I feel from that. So let's see what this page of Pentacles, what's going on with Pisces and Taurus with the page of Pentacles. We get the Knight of Cups, right? So it's like y'all always had that solid offer. The love is there. 
right? With the page of pentacles. Y'all the type of people that mind y'all business too. I don't feel like y'all have a lot of people around y'all. I feel like y'all more family oriented, more responsible, uh, more concerned about the real value of life and the real value of family. Y'all just get on each other nerves because y'all have y'all disagreements that y'all need to bring into balance here. And I feel like it happens here. I feel like you all surprise each other on the comeback. You know, we can argue, but we come right back. We back cool. It don't take all day or two days or two months or two weeks or two years for us to settle our differences and be able to, you know, still keep a strong mind and, and value the connection that we do have. So when this page of Pentacles, it's just like you all have a lot to offer each other. There is love here. And y'all just need to start being a little bit more romantic. Start role playing. Start doing stuff to like bring the spark back into the relationship. I feel like there's a routine here. A cycle that goes round and round and round. It's very scheduled. It's very routine. I feel like you guys are very busy. You know what I'm saying? And there's not a lot of time for romance here. But it's time to start offering up more romance. And that probably can help heal, you know, the little differences that you all do have. Right? Before things start to fall apart. But it's in the reverse here. Y'all refuse to let this uh, relationship tear down, right? So let's see. What is this star card for Pisces and Taurus? And we have the three of wands. Nothing but prosperity ahead. Nothing but abundance here. You know, I just really feel like this is something that's going to last here. Something that's going to be fruitful here. Something that's going to eventually align and take off, right? So what's crossing this energy here? We have the two of swords here. You all have a decision to make. Y'all going to keep going back and forth through this drama or y'all going to lift the veil off y'all eyes and really try to understand the way your person mind works and you really understanding uh, the way your person heart works. So it's about, it's about making a decision to put in the effort to try to make it work, right? So I hope this resonated with somebody. Let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity, to see what chakra needs to be worked on, or to simply get an inspirational quote that we could say to ourselves each and every day. Pisces and Taurus, we have a, the second chakra, and it's the sacral chakra, and this one is relevant to abundance. I am worthy and deserve an abundance of anything that I require. I watch my thoughts to ensure that I am honoring and respecting myself. I honor myself by knowing that I am worthy to receive. I am open to receive now. I remind myself that it is a sign of strength to ask for help. So abundance is our positive energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.